Welcome to Paint 3D. The interface for Paint 3D is designed to be simple yet powerful, with our huge variety of tools appearing just when you need them. Starting with our top bar, we have brushes, containing our realistic looking art tools that work both on the canvas and on 3D models. Then we have our useful and customizable 2D shapes that make it easy to be productive. Next are 3D shapes, revealing a variety of ways you can now easily create in three dimensions. We have stickers, our unique and simple way to add texture to your creations. The text tab gives you both 2D and 3D text options. There are effects, so you can change the lighting and environment of your 3D scenes. The Canvas tab is where you can control the scale and rotation of your images. And finally, we have our 3D library, where you can browse our huge catalogue of free 3D objects. In the top left is the menu, containing the different ways to import and export content, some options for printing, sharing and getting inspiration, as well as help and more advanced settings. Just below the menu, we have some global tools for selecting and cropping which are accessible no matter which tab you're using. At the top right, we have the paste button, followed by the different ways to undo and redo. This includes our history slider, where you can rewind all your actions and even save out a video of your process. Also in the global toolbar are the viewing options. This is where you can switch between 2D and 3D view modes. In 3D view, you're able to move around to see your content from any angle. There are also controls to zoom in and out of the canvas, with the ability to enter a precise zoom amount. Under this drop-down menu, you can save an image of your canvas, reset the view, and get a reminder of the navigation controls. Finally, this button takes your model from Paint 3D and launches it in the Mixed Reality Viewer, so you can place it into the real world. This icon opens the Effects tab. Effects adjust the style, lighting and environment of your 3D scenes. Flick through the effects to find one that best suits your scene and refine the look using the light wheel below. Included is a selection of Minecraft effects, specifically designed to recreate the different environments in the game. You'll find the same selection of filters and lighting when uploading to Remix 3D our online 3D library. When you make something awesome in Paint 3D, you want the world to see it. Remix 3D is our online 3D library where you can share your models for others to use and give feedback. From within the 3D library panel or within the file menu, you will find the option to upload to Remix 3D. First, choose how your model will show up in the community. Position and rotate your scene to create the perfect thumbnail. Click the help icon for a reminder of the navigation controls. You can also set the environment and lighting using the same effects found within the app. Next, give it a good name and description. Adding lots of details and tags helps people find your stuff when searching the 3D library. Once your model has uploaded, it is available to share with the world on Remix3D.com. Click View Model to get a link to your model's individual web page. Under the menu, you will find options for printing. Paint 3D supports both 2D and 3D printing. If you choose to 2D print, you'll be taken to the standard Windows Print dialog panel, where you can select options such as orientation, paper size and colour mode. The image being printed is taken from the 2D viewing angle. If you choose to 3D print, you'll be taken to the 3D print dialog panel, which will guide you through the 3D print process. Here you'll be able to adjust the size and layout, fix any issues the model might have, choose from available material types, and preview any required support structures. 3D printing will include all the 3D content in your scene, but will not include the canvas or any flat 2D images. If you don't own a 3D printer, you have the option to order the prints online.
This button opens the Canvas tab, which is where you can control the size and rotation of the 2D workspace. When in this tab, resize handles will appear on your canvas. Resizing the canvas can either crop your content, or using this toggle, you can opt to resize the content as you resize the canvas. You can also enter a precise dimension here, either as a percentage or the number of pixels. Ticking Lock Aspect Ratio means changes to one side will automatically update the other. Use these buttons to rotate or flip the canvas. If your image contains transparency, it can be revealed with this toggle. The outline shows the canvas is still there, but is now transparent, allowing you to save images containing transparency. You can also select content with transparency to use as a 3D layer or a sticker. Finally, you can always turn the 2D canvas off, leaving just the 3D content. Within Paint 3D, there are a variety of ways you can save or share your work. If you want to save your work to edit again later, then we recommend to save as a Paint 3D project. Paint 3D projects will retain all your 2D and 3D content without any compression, meaning you can reopen them and pick up exactly where you left off. If you want to take content out of Paint 3D to share or use in other applications, then you have options to save a copy as a 3D model or an image. If you choose to save a 3D model, then you'll be taken directly to the Windows Save panel to choose your desired location. The Save As Type drop-down menu gives you options for different 3D file formats. If you choose to save an image, you are taken to the Image Preview window. Within this window, you can choose to rescale your image. Ticking Lock Aspect Ratio means changes to one side will automatically update the other. Here you will see some details of the file size and resolution of the output. Additionally, there's an option to adjust the angle and framing of the image. You'll be asked to turn on 3D view mode if it wasn't previously enabled. You can choose preset framing or set a custom frame size. In the preview window, you can now control the angle by orbiting, zooming and panning. Click the help icon for a reminder of the view controls. When you're happy with the framing, click OK to return to the preview window. There is also a checkbox to retain transparency. This will only be available if the selected file type supports it. Finally, click Save to select a desired location for the file. If you've opened existing content and only made simple changes that are supported by the file type, then clicking Save or using the shortcut Control S will simply update the image or 3D file in its current location. A great way to share your content with others is by uploading to Remix 3D, our online 3D library. For more details, watch the relevant video guide. You can also share to other apps by clicking Share. If you already use social apps in Windows, this is the fastest way to get your creations onto those platforms. Simply choose the desired platform and a screenshot of your scene will appear there. Within Paint 3D, you can access our online 3D library called Remix 3D. There, you can browse through thousands of free 3D models to use in your creations. Use the search bar to find specific content. Click on a thumbnail to add that model into your scene. Below each thumbnail is the name of the model and its creator. Click on the creator's name to see more of their models. Use the plus icon to add a model to a board. If you've not already signed in, you'll be asked to at this point. Boards are a great way to collect your ideas. You can quickly make a new board or add the model to an existing collection. Anytime you're signed into Remix 3D, you can access your boards by heading to My Stuff. Clicking on the eye icon reviews a model in more detail. In the preview panel, you can orbit around the model to view it from all angles. Click on this help icon to remind yourself of the navigation controls. Show some love by liking models that you think look great. Below the model preview, you will see some details from the author. At the bottom of the preview panel, you can see ways in which the model has been remixed, the individual parts that were used to create the model, different boards that the model has been added to, and other models by this creator. At the top right, you will see your profile image, which you can click to access your account. Click on this icon to upload your current scene to Remix 3D. The T icon is for the Text tab. Within the Text panel, 
are the options to create both 2D and 3D text. Both work in the same way. Start by dragging a text box. This defines the area in which the text will write. It can be rescaled and rotated using the bounding box. Text can be formatted in all the ways you would expect, with fonts, size, colour, style and alignment. With 2D text you have the additional option to background fill the text box with a colour. When you are happy with the formatting, simply click outside of the text box to apply it to the canvas. Once applied, no further changes can be made. With 3D text, clicking out of the text box will create the 3D text model. Again, you will no longer be able to retype or reformat the text. However, because it is a 3D model, you can reselect it to resize and reposition. 3D text can be an inventive way to make new 3D shapes. Different characters and fonts can be useful to create new primitive 3D objects to use in your scenes and models. So give it a go and get creative with text in Paint 3D. This icon opens our Stickers tab. Stickers are one of the revolutionary ways we are making it easy to texture 3D models. Within the Stickers panel, you will find three tabs. This tab contains a variety of fun pre-made decals that will work exactly like a sticker. Tap anywhere to create your selected sticker. Stickers can be applied on the canvas or wrapped onto 3D models. Whilst your sticker has a bounding box, it can be repositioned, rescaled or rotated. On the side of the bounding box is a stamp icon. You can use this to apply multiple versions of the sticker across your creations. If you have finished with your sticker, you can apply a single version by pressing the tick icon. Whenever you're manipulating a sticker, you will see additional options in the side panel. These include sticker opacity, which alters the transparency of the sticker, or material options, which change the reflectivity and shine of a sticker when being applied to a 3D model. If you decide not to apply a sticker, then simply drag it off into an empty space or press the escape key. You also have the option to make 3D, which transforms the sticker to a flat layer in 3D space. In this tab, you will find textures. These are stickers that are specially designed to give material texture to your models. They have a soft edge, which makes them perfect for layering and overlapping. If you can't find what you're after, then there is a tab for custom stickers. Click the button to add a new sticker from your computer. You can use any image or photo as a sticker. Try searching for textures online or take photos of textures that you find interesting. You can also turn images in your scene into stickers. Try using Magic Select to pop out part of your image and then hit Make Sticker to use it on a model. Anything that you turn into a sticker will be added into your custom sticker collection to use again later in the session. In Paint 3D, we're making 3D creation easy for everyone. Click on this icon to reveal the 3D Shapes tab. It contains a variety of 3D shapes and objects to build into your own models and scenes. There is a selection of blank, pre-made models to get you started on your 3D journey. To create one, simply select the model and your desired colour and tap the workspace. The bounding box will allow you to change the scale and position of the model. For a larger selection of pre-made models, head over to our online 3D library by clicking Get More Models. You'll also find a selection of 3D objects. These are the basic shapes that can be used as the building blocks to make more complex models. You'll be amazed at what you can make just by changing the scale, position and rotation of these simple objects. To learn more about selecting and manipulating 3D models in Paint 3D, follow the link at the end of the video. If you can't find the shape that you need, then you have the 3D Doodle tool to create brand new objects from scratch. To create a 3D doodle, simply draw the outline of the shape and it will pop out into a 3D object. If you want a shape with straight edges, then you can tap points for the corners and straight edges will form between them. To change the depth of your custom shape, turn the object to the side and rescale. These shapes have been created with the sharp edge doodle. If you want to create a shape with a soft edge, then use the Soft Edge Doodle tool, which is great for creating softer looking objects like clouds. Discover easy 3D creation in Paint 3D today. In Paint 3D, we have a range of useful and customizable 2D shapes 
that make it easy to be productive. They work in the same way as our stickers, and so can be applied both on the canvas and on 3D objects. Select a shape from the sidebar and drag it out to the size you would like. Whilst it has a bounding box, you can change the scale and rotation of the shape, as well as adjust the controls in the side panel. You can choose the colour of the fill and line type, as well as the thickness of the line and the overall opacity of the shape sticker. When you are happy, press the tick to apply. You can also create a shape at the default size by simply tapping in the workspace. You can then refine this by dragging the bounding box. Like with stickers, a shape can also be applied by pressing the stamp button. This applies the shape but keeps another version available to stamp again. Our updated line and curve tool has handles, allowing you to keep tweaking the precise shape of the curve until it is applied. Don't forget that as well as colours, you can also choose from our four material types, which affect the reflectivity and shine of the shape when applied to a 3D object. In addition to applying a shape, you have the option to make 3D. This will pop it out into a new layer in 3D space. As with any 3D object, this can then be reselected, rescaled and repositioned. Shapes are a great way to add precision to your creations in both 2D and 3D, so give them a go. This icon opens the brushes panel. It is where you will find all our realistic looking brushes. Each brush has a unique style of its own, such as the graphite pencil, which is great for sketching and feels just like a real pencil. In the side panel, you are presented with some additional controls to change the thickness or opacity of the brush. The fill bucket harks back to the origins of paint and is as essential as ever. With the fill bucket, the control is tolerance, which determines the strength with which the colour will advance into the rest of the image. The marker pen is super smooth and great for blocking in colour or adding detail. The oil brush and crayon have authentic looking texture to help add substance and character to your image. The calligraphy pen changes weight depending on the speed you use it, so it feels great to write with. The spray can and watercolour brushes have soft edges, so are perfect for layering up or adding shading. And the pixel pen is useful for adding precise details. The best part is, all the brushes work the same on 3D models as they do on the 2D canvas. When you're painting onto a 3D model, you will see a new handle appear below the model. This is the orbit handle, and it allows you to spin the model in any direction whilst you're painting. If you want to return the model to its original position, then just hit this button. The eraser works on both 2D and 3D to remove any brush strokes or stickers you've placed. At the bottom of the panel is the colour palette, with a selection of colours to choose from. To edit the current colour, simply tap on it to bring up the colour picker. Colours can be selected by eye or using precise RGB or hex values. Or if the desired colour is already in the scene, you can use the pipette to select it. Custom colours can be saved to your palette by pressing the Add Colour button. It is possible to save up to six custom colours at any one time. After that, you can update your custom colours by double-clicking on them. In addition to colours, there are four material options. These affect how the colours show up on 3D models. They range from matte to polished metal, and each have different levels of reflectivity and shine. Try layering different materials on top of each other with different brushes to get some interesting effects. Unlock your creativity in 2D and 3D. This button allows you to toggle between 2D and 3D view. In 3D view, you can move around your content to see it from any angle. You have the option to orbit around the scene, zoom in and out, and pan from side to side and up and down. Select View Controls for a reminder of how to control the position with different input devices. 
use Reset View to return to the original default viewpoint. If you select an object in 3D view, you'll see our familiar selection box. As you move around, the bounding box will automatically twist so that it's always facing you. The angle of the box shows you the direction in which your models will move and scale. So viewing from a different angle helps you move objects in different ways. You will also see the selection highlight. This is so you can always see your models, even if they are behind something else. Plus, you can continue adding new objects, using the art brushes, or putting stickers on your work, all while remaining in this view. 3D View makes 3D editing easier than ever before. The images, Paint 3D now enables everyone to create in 3D. You can select 3D content by choosing the Select tool and clicking directly on a model. Once selected, a bounding box will appear around the contents, allowing uniform scaling from the corner handles and non-uniform scaling from the side handles. The familiar top handle enables you to rotate the object. However, with 3D content, you will see three additional handles. The right handle will flip the model backwards and forwards, the bottom handle will spin the model around, and the left handle will slide the model back and forth in 3D space. When positioning 3D shapes, there is object snapping to help you align models together. If you want, you can temporarily remove snapping by holding the control key. Anytime 3D content is selected, some useful selection tools will appear in the side panel. These include recognizable options such as cut, copy, paste, delete, and the flip buttons. Another way to select a model is to drag a selection box around it. This also enables you to select multiple objects at once. Use the multi-select button to add or remove objects from the current selection. When multiple models are selected, the bounding box affects all the selection at once. Group multiple objects together using this button. Once grouped, they will be treated as one object unless you choose to ungroup them. There is an edit color option which changes the color of selected shapes and select all to quickly select all the content in your scene. It's easy to use the adjustment tools in Paint 3D to turn basic shapes into something totally new. Regardless of which tab you're in, this toolbar contains global tools that are always available. And this is where you'll find the Select and Crop tools. To select 2D content, press the Select button and drag a selection box across the desired part of the canvas. This will automatically reveal the 2D selection side panel, as well as adding some handles around your selection. Drag the handles to resize and hold Shift for uniform scaling. At the top is the rotation handle. Use this to spin your selection and hold Shift to snap to increments. You will find several additional edit tools in the side panel, including Rotate and Flip, as well as Cut, Copy, Paste and Delete. You can, of course, drag the content around to reposition it. This will reveal the canvas below. When you are happy with your changes, simply click off the selection to implement it. Remember, this is not a separate layer, so once implemented, the content cannot be reselected. To turn the selection into a reselectable layer, click the Make 3D button. This puts the content into 3D space separate from the canvas. This means that it can be reselected to be re-edited or removed. Pressing the Crop button will reveal handles that can be moved to adjust the crop size. The side panel previews the dimensions of the current crop selection, and below that are buttons to accept or cancel the crop. If you have already made a 2D selection, you can press Crop to instantly crop the canvas to the current selection. Other buttons you will see in the side panel are Select All, which selects the entire canvas, and Magic Select, which intelligently selects content from your image. Check out the Magic Select video. Pressing the Magic Select button will reveal handles that you can use to select the part of an image that you want to cut out. When you have made your selection, press Next and the tool will intuitively highlight an area to cut out. Use the Add and Remove brushes to help refine the selection. Once you're happy with the selection, press Done and that segment will pop out as a new 3D layer. The area behind the content is intelligently filled in to hide any gaps. If you insert an image and use Magic Select right away, then we will make both the selection and the background 3D layers. This means you can choose to remove the background, or you can use Magic Select again to separate out even more layers. Anytime you press Magic Select, we will hide all other content to help you focus on your selection.
When you have multiple cutout images in your scene, you can use the depth slider to arrange which is above or below. Whether you're enhancing 2D images or creating layered 3D scenes, Magic Select makes cutting out images easy, fast and fun. There are various ways you can bring your content into Paint 3D. To start a scene with a specific piece of content, use the Open menu, where you can browse for files on your computer. You can open both 3D models and 2D images. You can also open content by right-clicking a file in Windows and choosing Edit with Paint 3D. The Open menu includes all your previously saved Paint 3D projects. Use the Insert menu to add content to an existing scene. If you insert an image and you don't want it to overwrite the other images on your canvas, you can click Make 3D to pop it out into its own layer. You can also insert content by pasting it from your clipboard. Hit this icon or press Ctrl V. This is a great way of bringing in text or images from other apps. The final way you can insert content is by simply dragging it into the Paint 3D window. Try mixing 2D and 3D content together to help communicate your ideas in new and more effective ways. Or head to the playlist for the full Paint 3D guide.